me, Malu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I'm gonna try to keep today's video quick and simple. I put up a TikTok and a real Instagram last week um, with some of my like hair routines and just kind of doing my hair and I got so many questions and I'm still getting so many questions on the products that I like to use, recommendations, things like that. So I'm going to do just a quick rundown of what I feel like are like the blonde, baldy, essential products. Now they don't have to be these exact brands or that kind of thing, but these are what I'm using at the moment. Um, I will have everything that I can linked in the description box um, on my Amazon storefront, as well as any other links or anything that I talk about that needs to be included. Now, I have done some videos, I think, or some vlogs or some things like that where I kind of talk about my hair process, but this is specifically for like, a, a true blonde, almost baldy, so super short, not a pixie cut, not finger waves. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about any mousses or anything like that to do finger waves. So a true like short brush cut is what I'm gonna be talking about today as far as my bleach and my maintenance and my product. So let's get right on into it. So first things first, I get a lot of questions on the developer and the bleach that I use. I think I'm actually gonna do like a high-low video because I do have alternates for all of my products, but most recently, these are my go-tos. I have been using the Kinks and Coils Blonde Series Pre-Lightener. Um, this is the 2.0, lifts up to level nine. I love this bleach. I tested it out just to try something different after months of using the same bleach and I was very pleasantly surprised. The texture is nice and thick. I don't have a lot of like drippage or any issues like that. It spreads very well. Um, it was very different for me to see it come in this pouch. The shipping is very fast, very easy to travel with so I really like this and it is black owned and based in Atlanta so I highly recommend this. They have quite a few products on their page from mousse to bleach to hair gels, a lot of everything, to bonnets, there's a lot of things on their website, but I really have been liking this bleach. Um, and then for the developer, I've been using the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me developer. This is the 40. Um, so I usually do two processes. I always get asked how long I do each process. So typically I do the 40 developer for the first process. I do that for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then depending on if I need it or not, sometimes one is just enough. I will go in and do a second process for about 20 minutes um, with something like a 30 or a 20. But Blonde Me, the brand, is such a high quality, um, salon quality product. This is actually the product that I was getting service with in the salon. So this is a really good product. I don't like to just use like the beauty supply, the BW, I think bleach and that kind of stuff. I think you should invest a little more in your bleach and your developer and I feel like it goes a long way and you'll see a lot more progress and benefit in your hair. So that is it for my bleach and developer. Um, next up for my conditioners, I stand by Olaplex. Like, you seriously, Olaplex isn't cheap. Um, you can try to go to Ulta or something like that to use your coupons or points, but it is so good for your hair. I have not had anything conditioned like Olaplex. This is the Bond Maintenance um, Conditioner number five. I use this almost daily, even if I am just like doing a quick spray down of my hair. I do hot yoga, so I sweat a lot, um, but I use this very often. Highly, 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 highly recommend this conditioner and then my other conditioner i like to use is the shimmer lights conditioner a lot of people don't know that shimmer lights also has conditioner as well i like to use this especially if i'm feeling like i'm getting some yellowing in my hair i like to use this and mix the two and almost create like a hair mask or like a deep condition so these two are definite almost daily use that i highly recommend they are worth the price okay next up coming in for shampoos that you have to have the iso plus neutralizing shampoo is an absolute must i use this whenever i'm rinsing out anything that has developer or any chemical this helps to neutralize any chemicals so they're not continue to process your hair if you happen to miss any um whether you're doing relaxer or bleach like you need this product this is perfect between um coloring and things like that so i highly recommend that and then of course again the shimmer light shampoo which helps with your any orange or yellow tones in your hair so they have these in travel size as well i really really recommend a purple shampoo 
is a big must have. There are other brands besides Shimmer Lights, but I just really like their conditioner, so I just go ahead and combine the shampoo with that too, because that's what works for me. And then, um, the leave-in. I get a lot of questions about the leave-in that I use whenever I use it in videos. Apparently, it's trickier to find some places. I literally bought this at my local Kroger, um, but I will link it, like I said, in my Amazon. This is the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment leave-in conditioner. So, it's actually in a spray format, which I really like. And you can just, I use this a lot. You just spray it in your hands and I just kind of rub it in. Again, I use that almost daily as well. Okay, next up, this one is not an absolute necessity, but it is a product that I do use and I do like, so I recommend it to people when they ask about like all of my products that I use. Um, the Kiss Temptation in Clear. I think one of the worst things that you can have when you have blonde hair is have it looking dry and dull. So moisturizing, hydration, and shine is really important to me with my hair. So I add this when I do my little conditioner mask situation. I add this just to add some extra sheen and shine to my overall hair. And again, you can see I literally get most of my products from the beauty supply. This is only $4.99. So any clear rinse. I highly recommend. Getting into styling products, I keep them very simple. This is gonna sound funny, but water. If you don't have one of these spray bottles, I highly recommend. It's like a mister, so it's not just a regular like cleaning product spray. This is just gonna help you to wet your hair often because I don't really style my hair dry. I feel like with the moisture, all my products just work better on my hair. So I'm sure you've seen these a million places. I recommend going ahead and investing in one um, so you don't have to fully wet your hair every time. And then a good oil. Um, I have a few different oils that I use right now. I've really been using Dugro Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil. If you like natural oils and you want jojoba oil or an essential oil or something like that, that's definitely great too. This is just personally what I've been using lately. And again, I'm just applying this morning, night, after I do hot yoga, I just apply this on my whole head just to keep the hair hydrated because blonde hair can get dry very fast and it's very visible when it does get dry. So I always, prep with this before I put on any true styling products and then a good pomade for me I've been really liking Dax Neat Waves products um, of course if you want like wave waves there's a whole process to that but the guys who I've talked to who you know have waves recommended that I use Dax I like the Neat Waves because it is a medium hold maximum shine so it really helps to flatten my hair down and handle any flyaways as my hair grows and it begins to like curl, get a little bit longer. It doesn't necessarily lay bone straight. I really like to put this on and then um, put on my do-rag after and kind of lay that hair down. And last but not least, you have to have a good pony brush. Um, so this is a Red by Kiss brush. It was only about like $4.99, $3.99. Um, they have the curved ones as well, but literally you just need a good soft to medium um, brush to brush your hair constantly. You don't want a super duper hard bore bristle brush because it can be really harsh on your hair and on your scalp. But I find this kind of like softer pony brush is just very nice for laying the hair down. So I apply the oil, apply the Dax, brush my hair down, and then put on my do-rag. And that's really it. I wanted to make this straight to the point, nice and easy and simple. So that when someone asks, I have somewhere just to easily direct them on all the products that I'm currently using. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop those in the comments below. Like I said, I think I'm going to do like a high-low because um, I know that Olaplex and Blami can be a little on the higher end and maybe you want like some more beauty supply options or things like that that are kind of comparable. So let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see and I will see you in the next video.